the case of the mysteriously coloured dress proves just how differently we all see colour. But why? And how do we even see colours in the first place? Well, we've got an explanation from a kid who knows all too well, because he can't see some colours at all. Here's David's story. This is a mantis shrimp. And it's one of my favourite animals. Not because it's cool. Whoa, what a punch. Or because it uses arms to punch things. But because they can see more colours than anything else on Earth. How creepy. You might be wondering why I like something so weird and creepy. Well, it's because we both see the world a bit differently. The male shrimp can see heaps more colours than everyone else. And I see fewer colours than everyone else because I have something called colour blindness. Most people don't really think about it, but seeing colour is actually pretty tricky. Here's how it works. Inside our eyes are these tiny things, they're called rods and cones. The rods let us see light and movement. The cones are what let us see colour. People have three types of cones. They're red, green and blue. They let us see all the normal colours you'd be used to. Some animals, like dogs, only have two cones, green and blue. So they can't see as many colours. Then there's my favourite animal, the mare shrimp. It has 12 cones. Way more than anything else. They can see all sorts of extra colours that we can't see, like ultraviolet and probably a bunch of other shades in between too. The reason I have colour blindness is because one of my three cones doesn't work very well. So being colour blind doesn't mean I can't see colours. That's really rare, but it can happen. Those people see the world in complete black and white. I can see most colours, but sometimes I find it hard to pick out red and green from one another. The way I found out one of my cones doesn't work properly was through these special tests. In these diagrams, kids with normal vision are able to see numbers. But if you're red, green, colorblind like me, all you can see is a bunch of dots. Colorblindness is a genetic condition, so it can be passed on from parents to kids. It's more common in boys. One in 12 boys have it, compared to just one in 200 girls. Be unfair, hey? It's because colour blindness is linked to the genes that make us a boy or a girl. Although I can figure out most colours, sometimes I mix a couple up. How to look? That's horrible! So I can put on some pretty funny outfits. Sometimes I find it hard to pick out things like a red bowl on green grass. But I can definitely figure out traffic lights because I know the top is red and the bottom is green. Being colourblind can stop some people from doing certain jobs where colour is really important. But I want to be a computer game designer and mixing a few colours up won't stop me from doing that. Because overall, what we see is pretty much the same as everyone else. And even if I am missing a colour here and there, that's nothing. Because none of us get to see the crazy colours that the mantis shrimp can.